Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today this is my SummerSlam 2018 review. What an awesome show. First, we're not going to get into detail on the kickoff show, but Andrade Almas and Zelina Vega defeated Lana and Rusev. Cedric Alexander retained the Cruiserweight title over Drew Gulak, and the B team defeated the Revival to retain the, Cruiser, the Raw Tag Team titles. And then we get into the main show. Rollins and Ziggler were the first match. It was insane. What a classic. Rollins did defeat Ziggler to win the Intercontinental title. Drew McIntyre was distracting Rollins. Ambrose hit him with dirty deeds. And there we go. And then Rollins hit the stomp on Ziggler. And then his uh, Intercontinental title back. And then I wasn't really paying attention to the match. But the Bludgeon Brothers did defeat the New Day. It wasn't the right match. I wasn't really paying attention as I said. And then what I thought was going to be an alright match between Braun Strowman and Kevin Owens. Braun squashed Owens in two minutes with a running power slam and he retained, you can say retained, his Money in the Bank briefcase. In the SmackDown Women's title triple threat match, Charlotte did defeat Carmella, the former champion, and Becky Lynch. And it was an alright match, it was pretty exciting. I mean, Carmella and Becky Lynch, I thought, I'm sorry, I thought Becky Lynch and Charlotte were going to team up on Carmella for most of the match. But then, things got heated between them two, they kind of, had a friendly battle, if you know what I mean, until Charlotte won it. She did hit the natural selection move on Becky Lynch and pinned her. Charlotte won it, but then after the match, Becky Lynch did turn heel, and even though Charlotte did win, it looked like Becky Lynch came out on top. Becky Lynch attacked her and turned heel. After that, we had the WWE title match, which was mid-card, which it shouldn't have been. AJ Styles against Samoa Joe, easily a five-star match. It was insane. Styles did, did retain... But Joe did win via DQ. they done this awesome move through the barricade. It was insane because Joe did talk about his family even more, saying that Joe is going to be the new daddy of AJ Styles' family. So AJ Styles did snap, but he did retain via DQ. And then the Elias concert was going to happen, but his guitar broke. Nothing really happened after that. He just went to the back. And then we had The Miz versus Daniel Bryan. I knew Daniel Bryan was going to win. I thought he was, but he didn't in the end. Maurice was ringside. And gave something to The Miz. I think it was like some brass knuckles or something. The Miz did punch Daniel Bryan and won the match. After that, a match I really wasn't excited for. Baron Corbin versus Finn Balor. Even though Finn Balor's my favourite, I wasn't really excited for it. Don't really like the feud. But Finn Balor came out as a demon. The Brooklyn was insane. The crowd was going insane. The demon is back and he defeated Corbin in short time. We move on to the United States title match. Jeff Hardy versus Shinsuke Nakamura. Jeff Hardy was doing very, very well. I thought he was going to regain his title. Nakamura did defeat him in the end. And then Randy Orton did come out after. It looked like he was going to attack Jeff Hardy. Shinsuke Nakamura did exit the arena. But then he just turned back and went back to the back. And then Jeff Hardy did get a standing ovation from the crowd. And then after that, we had Ronda Rousey in her title match against Alexa Bliss. I did predict Ronda Rousey to win. It didn't even take her that long to win the title. She had the Bella Twins at ringside, Natalia at ringside, all celebrating with her after. She did win the title, like expected, and it was in dominating fashion. The armbar instantly makes Bliss tap out. What a match it was. I was paying attention to that match, rather than the SmackDown one. And anyway, Ronda Rousey wins her first WWE title. Then the main event, it was insane. Obviously, it was Reigns against Brock Lesnar for the Universal title. Reigns, obviously, and Brock make their entrances. They're out in the ring. Braun Strowman's music hits. He does say whoever wins, he's going to cash in and he's going to stand ringside. Match goes on for a bit. Reigns gets a bit of offense in. Superman punches Spears. And then it goes to the outside. Reigns is down. And then what does Brock do? He f 5 Strowman, throws his briefcase to the top of the ramp so he can't cash in. And then... Strowman's there on the floor, he's beating him up, Brock's beating him up with a chair, he enters the ring with a chair, hits with another spear, and Reigns is a new Universal Champion, finally, and Braun Strowman did not have a chance to cash in because his money in the bank was on top of the ramp, but yeah, finally we have a new champion and it is Roman Reigns, so if you guys did enjoy SummerSlam, please smash the like button, comment, subscribe if you are new, I enjoyed it so much, but anyway guys, I'll see you in the next video.